While the rest of the world was wrapping up their December holiday celebrations, China decided to make a dramatic announcement. Or rather, two announcements. For weeks, rumors had swirled that China was planning to unveil something significant. The date speculated was December 26, the birthday of Mao Zedong, the founder of the People's Republic of China. Many believed this would be the day China would drop the bomb, metaphorically speaking. And indeed, China delivered. News agencies released images showing a Chinese-made J-20 fighter jet escorting an unusual aircraft. The mysterious aircraft has three engines and a design that had never been seen before, rising immediate speculation. Was this a much anticipated H-20 bomber? Or perhaps an advanced unmanned aerial vehicle? The answer surprised everyone. Neither. China officially confirmed that the aircraft was a prototype for a sixth-generation fighter jet, developed in secrecy over many years. As discussions around its design, size, and potential capabilities began, another image surfaced just a few hours later. This time, a J-16 fighter jet was seen escorting yet another mysterious aircraft. Like the first, this one was an entirely new design, never seen before. China officially revealed that it now has the two sixth-generation fighter jet prototypes in the development. The first seen in the initial images is being developed by Chengdu Airspace Corporation. The second, shown later, is a product of Shenyang Aircraft Corporation. These two prototypes are now competing for dominance, with only one likely to become Chinese flagship sixth-generation fighter jet, or perhaps both could eventually enter service. But before moving ahead, let's take a quick look at how these flying machines evolved. Fire jet history began just before World War II, where planes were simple machines. No radar, no advanced tech, just speed and bravery. Pilots relied on their skill and machine guns for dogfights. But as the technology progressed, so did the skies. Fighter jets became the knights of the modern battlefield, evolving with each generation. By the 1960s, jets got faster. Second generation like the MiG-19 and F-104 Starfighter broke the sound barrier. Missiles replaced guns as the main weapons. Then came the third generation in the 1970s and 80s, with jets like Soviet MiG-21 and the US F-4 Phantom. These planes were smarter. They could dogfight, bomb targets, and even operate at night. Pilots now had radar to guide them, making air combat deadlier than ever. The fourth generation changed everything towards the end of the last century. Jets like the F-16 and MiG-29 were designed for agility and versatility. They could hit targets beyond visual range, thanks to advanced radar and fly-by-wire technology. They have advanced radar and missile systems for both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground roles. These jets weren't just machines, they were extension of the pilot's will. But the competition didn't stop there. The new 4.5 generation entered the game. Upgraded version of 4 generation jets like the French Rafale and UK, Italy, Germany's Eurofighter Typhoon. These jets enhanced versions of 4 generation jets with added stealth elements, ISR radars and network capabilities. Then the fifth generation arrived, stealthy, deadly, and game-changing. The USS F-22 Raptor, F-35 Lightning, Chinese J-20, and Russia Su-57 became the new rulers of the sky. Turkey also is fast developing its own fifth-generation fighter jet named Khan, and is expected to enter service by 2030. Here I have a model of it, and is expected to be a game-changer for country's defense industry. Many countries have already begun talks for purchase of these fighter jets, among which are Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Pakistan, and the UAE. These jets, due to its stealth design, they could evade radar, fly at supersonic speed, and even work along AI, allowing data sharing across platforms. But the story doesn't end there. The world is racing to build sixth-generation fighters, these jets 
will be like something out of science fiction. Hypersonic speed, AI co-pilots, self-drone management and laser weapons. And as mentioned at the beginning, China recently stunned the world, revealing two sixth-generation prototypes. To fully grasp the significance of this development, it's essential to understand Chinese journey in military aviation. Until the early 2000s, Chinese air combat vehicles were largely based on licensed or unlicensed copies of Russia's designs. However, in the 2000s and 2010s, China began producing original designs, starting with the J-10 and J-17, and progressing to more advanced platforms like the J-20 and J-35. China, now an economic superpower rivaling the United States, has ambitions beyond economic dominance. The nation has invested heavily in military technology, particularly in the Pacific region, aiming to match or surpass the US on all fronts. Part of this effort includes developing state-of-art warplanes. While China has made strides with its fifth-generation fighters, such as the J-20 and J-35, it has also been quietly working on sixth-generation technology. While details about Chinese sixth-generation program remain scarce, American military intelligence suggests that the initiative began in 2017 with official work starting in 2019. Most experts expected Chinese sixth-generation designs to surface around 25. However, the early unveiling of two prototypes has stunned observers. For now, there is no official information on the technical capabilities of these prototypes. Speculations abound, but hard data remains elusive. What is clear is that the prototypes will likely undergo extensive testing and evaluation before one or possibly both are adopted into service. This development has undoubtedly caught the attention of the United States, which is also working on its sixth generation fighter jets, NGAD program. The competition between the US and China in this field is expected to intensify dramatically in the coming years. Meanwhile, China's internal problems continue to mount. The sweeping anti-corruption campaign has seen a forced removal of two of China's last three defense ministers. At least nine high-ranking generals have been fired over the last 18 months, and the world will be watching closely as both nations push the boundaries of military aviation. The battle for air dominance is entering a new chapter. The question is, who will rule the skies of tomorrow? What do you think about Chinese sixth generation fighter jets? And don't forget to like and subscribe for more in-depth stories on global defense and geopolitics. See you in the next episode.